<laughs> yeah, I, I saw that. Mama Lusto. Yeah. Oh, I, I forgot to mention. Yeah. Do you have one at your house? Like a backup at your house? Yeah. Do you have one at your house? Okay. Oh, do you have one of those turtle beaches? Because that's what I use. It works in both. Oh, do you have one of those turtle beaches? Because that's what I use. It works in both. Oh, okay. I, I, I... Yeah, I know there's some mics out there like that. I'm gonna ask this guy if he wants to play a game. The guy that's in our league. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I bet. Yeah. I you know what? I I I I think that is fixable. But the problem is though, how? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it is, but like, how? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it is, but like, how? Uh huh. Okay. I'm gonna play this guy in a head to head. Showing WWE some love. Oh, oh they didn't have Fortnite. I see. He has the uh, X, right? Oh, one S, okay. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna play this guy that's in our league. Hopefully, uh,. Alright. Well. Alright. Alright. So guys, if you guys have an Xbox One and want to come and join in the fun. The NFL uh, on EA Sports brings here. us to North Carolina and Bank of America Stadium Turn here in Charlotte. Up. Just Turn a few up. moments ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers emerge yes, from uh, the tunnel here in Charlotte. See. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up 
with the Baltimore Ravens. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. First carry of the game for Christian oh, yeah, McCaffrey. Yeah, yeah. And some space here. And nothing but daylight ahead. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Carolina. Yeah. Christian McCaffrey, yeah, 75 yeah. yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Wow, first play in the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate line. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, he spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. Don't worry, this is not a franchise mode game. This is just online head-to-head. Um... Um, you have to have Xbox Jackson one and the Ravens yeah, come yeah. up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A franchise. He'll have a first down past the 40. Oh, wow. I was not ready for that. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson, 75 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Tucker with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Cool. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken <laughs> down right at the 20. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play. Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time, John. Now you're coming back out. Now they've established this run game. The play action pass could very well be open. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On second and nine. Newton, quick slant, caught by Moore. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. Back deep is DeAnthony Thomas. I'm not worried. Oh, he'll field it in the end zone. Oh, no. A oh, big no. seam, and he might go all the way. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. That is something you almost never see. A punt return better than 100 yards from one end zone to the other. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to so after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. Oh. This is taken about seven yards deep. Dances by him. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Ready, ready. 
This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go, and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. <laughs> Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, okay. you start to win first down. You win second down. And okay. guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. From the 22, I would have Newton done. taking a shot into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready? Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Panthers have recovered. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yeah, they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. From the 45 on second down, I mean, Newton taking a shot for Samuel. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. A big play there for Carolina. 49 yards. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Gano the extra point, and we are tied at 14. <laughs> This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Gets fielded in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. It's like, what? The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And That's caught inside the 20. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 61 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson with his second touchdown in this opening quarter as his guys are able to regain the lead. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. Oh, yeah. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> this is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll take this yeah. up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Especially now. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Tony Jefferson. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, 
My replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson. On his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns as the Ravens push further out in front. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he probably should have stayed in the end zone as he'll muster a return up to only the 14-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off by the pro bowler, Marcus Peters. So that is three interceptions now in this first half, and you hate to ask the question, but yeah, let's be honest, we're thinking about it. Do you need to go in a different direction next series? Potentially. We well, you know that he's probably not going to be on the Pro Bowl ballot. That's not really his stature here. But he has been their starting quarterback for this game. So they've got to weigh things about who's behind him. Do they think he can snap it back into gear? Maybe change up the play calling to help him out a little bit. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Good decision. Bad decision. Obviously, she was on third down. Jackson eluding the pressure right. He's going deep for Brown. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. There's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't look. And he can't get away. Newton can't escape the pressure, and it's a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. Wait, and in wait, the wait. offensive huddle, that was discussed just when they called the play. play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought okay. about. So The Raven offense so. set at the line for this next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, it totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys are going to take over oh, at the 31-yard <laughs> line. Wait. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And last time they surrendered to safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. Oh, boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Tony Jefferson. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good yeah. old days, probably back before you were born, I mean, no, if your starter threw four in the first half, 
he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Willie Sneed, 40 yards. As the Ravens push further out in front. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Oh, man. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. <laughs> the Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. <laughs> Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. And once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Dude, this is the most Newton. And a big loss here as he's taken down. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. And now nothing but green ahead of him. He's uh -huh. at the 40, the 20. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. <laughs> Christian McCaffrey on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Panthers are able to cut into this lead. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead's down to two scores now at 16. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Oh, man. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they get into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. He's going deep for Brown. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked up by Trey Boston, and his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Now following the interception, here's Newton. He's going to sling this deep downfield, and it's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking to get that one to DJ Moore, know, right? and that'll bring up second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Draw play as Newton gives oh, to McCaffrey. Right, right, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Third and long, it's Newton. On the catch, it's Jarius Wright. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now. Remember, his first attempt was returned for a touchdown. <laughs> and that one hits at the seven but bounds into the end zone and that'll be a touchback <laughs> so so what are the contacts what have i missed about all of this stuff Other than the raven offense me. set at the line for this next drive you've got under a minute to go here until halftime you got the good size lead no need to do anything crazy no there really is no need to do anything crazy the smart play go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try to add to it in the second half. But... And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson, an 80-yard touchdown as the Ravens push further out in front. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole and thing and got it. About. That's a great way but to send a message to the opposing team. We, I think we've reached the point where uh, 
Wait, what you just told me? Uh, this Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something. And now here is another <laughs> interception. Oh, Picked off at the 49. And a potential turning point as you'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. I just escaped through the window. <laughs> Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Wait, wait. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Field goal right unit note, not out there. They it, want like, six before halftime. Nobody is home that they that you guys have moved for the location. <laughs> and no pitch there and no chance either as he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Like so two quarters <laughs> down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. Um, this will be taken like to the back of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Well, okay, not one every time. One every other time. Like, the Raven offense one, set at the line for this next drive. Let's they had a big first time, half. Now they have a chance to add to that lead one. here in the opening no, possession of the second half. And everyone always asks about halftime adjustments, kind of yeah, a key phrase. Stories. What did you do at halftime? Well, the way they, they ran offense the in the first, the first half, I think they were very calm, congratulatory, but also what they were saying is don't expect them to be the same on defense. They'll be the ones making the adjustments. Let's see what they do, and we'll attack accordingly. And we'll see how they attack here. But, um, He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Yeah, after this. Oh game, man, that wasn't far turn, from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Yeah. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Uh, Only a nice tackle yeah. prevented yeah. it from maybe going yeah. all the way. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Well, I, I'm kind of in the middle of an online game. I, I kind of can't. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. But, uh, all right, he's know, got a Dane Grum complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. So, you know. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Well, that's where I on second down, Ingram. And he'll get four there down to about the 12 yard line. So it seems like we, Tough first got, half for him, unable to put up the numbers right? he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on this guy sheet as well. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. He'll get a couple of yards on the keeper, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. So. He, he, he can run for it, and he will. Right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out as his guys continue to pour it on. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take so matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me? 
but I think he took matters into his own feet. And no. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. You know, you and he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here too. Trying to get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the Second half, you're really scripting more like uh, eight to ten, kind of a starter or anyway, opener, whatever so they, whatever terminology they use, I, just something to get you off to a quick start. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. You know, it's become cliche, but we have seen it and observed it. When runners have days like what we're seeing right now, they often take their offensive linemen out for stakes afterwards, don't they? They don't go buy them dinner. But after a play like that, he might reduce it. Might go to the corner and just grab a hot dog or two, huh? Hey, I mean, they've still been blocking for a while in this game. They don't get one mulligan up front. Okay, so what we're saying then is we're going petite filet instead of porterhouse. Eight ounces. That? Eight ounces is good. All right, just check it. And an alley to run. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson, 60 yards. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Tucker with the extra point. And that will extend this big lead. I, I, I Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Anyway, this is taken about seven yards deep. Which was okay by us. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24 yard line. We were nice to each other. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. But that's the simple fact. Anyway. Um, now Newton on first down. So, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. The lone second remains now in this third quarter. On second and ten, Newton. Complete to right. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. And we're back now in Charlotte. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter, a very one-sided affair. Uh, there he goes left side, and he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, 59 <laughs> so, yards, yeah, and the yeah. Panthers gain a bit of respectability. All right. And it's no good. Oh, he misses yeah, the extra yeah. point, and, and uh, our score stays right where it is. So with the missed PAT so, in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. That's fielded in the end zone. Well, I'm not like those guys. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Yeah, so it's and then, the Raven offense we, set at the line wow. for this next drive. Exactly. And this game comfortably in hand. Yeah, the scoreboard yeah, speaks for itself. But you still got your starting quarterback out there. When, when do you go uh, to the backup? Let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, Situations and they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. That's always puzzled me a little bit. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. And now he'll tuck it and run. And a cut to the right and some up. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson. 
61 yards as his guys continue to pour it on. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. Oh, and then we get back to my This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Somebody, she called one of her friends and whatever and took her. Check 24, check 24. And, uh, on oh, first down, down, it's Newton. Yeah, I don't know. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Taking a shot for Samuel. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The safety that time, Tony Jefferson there on the coverage. The Panthers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 17. Throwing is Newton. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure, the backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Ravens, they'll take over. But, yeah, so, I mean, like, he's like, yeah. The Raven offense set at the, the line for this next drive. We've got a lopsided game here. I don't know, Charles, what does the handbook say that we, we discuss when we've got a game like this in the fourth quarter? Hold on a second. Let me, let me thumb to the purple page on that. Notice. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Uh, no, Lamar be. Jackson, 60 yards as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And partner, are you kidding me? With this game that he's having, we are in uncharted waters like we've never seen before. Just think, if he keeps every football from all the touchdowns scored today, <laughs> Does he need to build a new trophy room? Uh, yeah, home? yeah. A couple <laughs> trophy rooms. Maybe a whole home for a trophy room. Yeah. What a phenomenal performance, and I'll guarantee you, oh, yeah. he's going to reward the rest of the offensive unit uh, after this as well for helping him get to this number. He better. This is just unreal. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too much. And my goodness, another interception. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And the return here will go to the 31 yard line. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six <laughs> oh, no. interceptions in a game, the likes of I, I Peyton Manning, this. Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Whatever. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. From the three now, here they come on third and goal. Yeah, pretty much. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. There's no doubt in my mind. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? It's not scales, right? I don't hear scales. Do I actually hear a tune being warbled? I think the fat lady's humming. Yeah, she's doing more than humming. She's filled it out right she's now. She's full more. Yeah, this thing is flat out finished. That'll be taken in the end zone. 
And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. So, I mean. This Carolina offense at yeah. the line, ready to go. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided yeah. game like this? <laughs> for a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing the whole deal and never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling no you don't want that feeling again and who knows you may meet up with this team again throwing on third and long newton and a throw there going to be incomplete brandon at least there's one bright side to that incompletion what's that it wasn't an interception wow <laughs> you're you're a nice guy that was kind of savage oh, you don't have to see but correct no, no pick just incomplete that time Yeah. A terrific well, return, way, 30 <laughs> yards all in all. And the Ravens set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. And an alley to run, and he's going to get this inside the 30. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. By like a point or something like that. <laughs> like right at the end of the game. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. It was Second a pick and six. ten. It was a pick six. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel I, great about I, themselves, I, can I'll they? Admit, I mean, what I a game to put up that number of points, continually point. feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and what clicking. The hell, they think that they can bottle the this and, and carry it with them. Sure and as an offensive play. coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. Because so that's a wrap for Charles strong. Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. Like and this has been a exactly presentation of the NFL on no EA Sports. For more, like check us out at easports.com. No Till next time, we say so long from Charlotte. So that's kind of how it favored me more. Oh, that was a... Uh...